I think it's really important to, to step back and reflect on how far we've come as a dedicated team that has worked together uh, to make this dream a, a reality, to recognize how that team has worked together, uh, the commitment that they've made, uh, whether those are construction folk, our design team, um, district representatives, or those from the school, really working together, pulling together to make this a reality. And I think also uh, to reflect on the commitment that the Oregon City community made to dream uh, about a better future for their students. We constructed this during a year of unprecedented challenges, but looking forward to students having a great and wonderful time at the New Gardener. It's going to be demolished as of Monday the 14th, so it's coming down. And then we'll move into our new school uh, August 2nd. I think this is this is it for the school, right? We are loading up uh, trailers and then we start until the end of summer. And then uh, we'll be back and probably all know the you know, new school. Apparently there's a lot of stuff that's got to go. <laughs> Speed pack, you know, grab some stanches, put them all in the box, and get them on the truck. That's it. So what we're doing is we're taking uh, the newer cameras, the newer access cameras, and we're removing them from outside and inside some of the areas here so that we can take them and reuse them at some of the other schools. The lull before the storm, once we know power is confirmed dead, then uh, they'll start eating into the building with these big monsters you see over here. And the guys you see working are removing the fluorescent tubes, which contain heavy metals and mercury. You can't dispose of those. They have to be recycled and properly disposed of. Like you can see in here, all of the fixtures are open. Every light fixture in the building will be open inspected and checked for uh, potentially hazardous materials and all the fluorescent tubes will be removed before they start uh, demolishing the building. Yeah.